Hey girl, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Kayla. I got requested to do a battle between two foundations, which is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrushed Flawless Finish Powder and the Number 7 Perfect Light Powder. These are gonna go head to head. If you guys do not know, the Charlotte Tilbury is worth $45 and the number seven is worth $12.99. So we are going to test this out to see if this is an inexpensive dupe for this one because yeah, before we get into today's video, as always, if you haven't already, please be sure to hit that subscribe button to join the KB family and comment down below what you'd like to see next. And yeah, give it a thumbs up because it really helps me out. And let's get into today's video. Right off the bat, I do notice similarities in packaging. They both have oval shapes. However, the number seven is thicker than the Charlotte Tilbury, which leads me to believe that this has more product than this one does. And this one does have 0.35 ounces. This one does carry 0.28. So there you go, right off the bat. The Charlotte Tilbury retails for $45 and the number seven powder retails for $12.99, but we do have to see if they perform the same. Like Charlotte Tilbury, they both come in a very small shade range. However, number seven is a lot lighter than number two over here, and they're both in the shade medium. I'm noticing that this says my uh, hypoallergenic, which is amazing. If you suffer from a lot of allergies, if you're allergic to a lot of things and you can't really apply as much makeup as you'd like to because of your allergies, this is going to be a good one. However, we need to see again how it performs. But I'm not seeing anything about hypoallergenic right here. They both do come with compact mirrors, so that is amazing for travel. However, I do have to say that when I purchased both of these, this one came in a package, like a box, a unicarton, and this one did not. It just came like this, and it did not have a seal around it. None of them did, so anybody could have put their fingers on it. So I did spray alcohol on it to sanitize it, but just got to say that, especially with right now, if you want sanitary, this is probably not going to be the best idea. But you can sanitize it, so it's not a big, big deal, but just... just Keeping that out there. Okay. For both powders, I'm gonna be using my Powder 161 brush from Urban Studio. This is my number one powder brush. I use this all the time. And I actually bought this from TJ Maxx. If you guys are looking for a similar brush, I don't think they still have it, but I mean, you can get lucky one day and find it, but just any powder brush will do. So I'm gonna take the Charlotte Silbury on my right side of the face. I'm going to go ahead and we already know how the, oh guys, look at this. <laughs> Dude, it's like, all my pores are gone. I'm like literally airbrushed. It looks so good. Sadly, I'm not gonna get to do a full day wear test today because of the timing. I did start filming a little bit late. This is what it looks like. You guys have seen it. My previous video, if you haven't already, go check it out. I did a full day wear test on it and I absolutely love the finish of this. However, at the end of the day, but again, it could have been just my mask. So we do have to try this out on a separate day where I don't really have to go anywhere and I can just wear it out as is. I'm gonna take the shade medium. They're both called medium. However, this is lighter. So we're gonna have to see. I'm gonna take this and see how this goes. Okay. Ooh, look at this. So I do see similarities in both. I, I like this side better so far, I, that's all I have to say. So I am just gonna show you guys a sponge on this side and see if it makes a difference, but it does. I do notice that it does erase my pores like the Charlotte Tilbury, however, I do think it gives more of like a lighter cast. So I should have gone with a translucent and I, I was, but then I was like, no, let's compare both mediums. So this one does have less shades. It has a translucent, a fair, and a medium, but there's like no dark whatsoever, which is really annoying. It's actually yellow undertoned, or like it's making it look yellow undertoned. No, yeah, it's definitely yellow undertone. Whereas like this is more of a blue. So I don't know about that, but it does have more products, so there's that. As far as like a medium goes, I don't think that this is a medium. This literally looks like fair. 
I still think that the Charlotte Silberry is great for photography, for videography. If you're doing anything like if you do YouTube and stuff like that, I still think that this is going to be a really great powder for like on camera things. This is going to be like if I have an event to go to or something, this is going to be it. I feel like the Charlotte Silberry covers and pulls everything together a little bit more. Um, I am noticing, I was saying initially that this looks like it does give a little bit of a lighter cast on it, but the Charlotte Tilbury, if you notice, you can see half of my face is literally like this yellow tone, but I do have yellow like olive undertones. It goes with my skin, you know, whereas this side, it doesn't really do that. It does minimize my pores. It looks a little bit airbrushed in it. I don't think, I don't know if you can see, you can probably see it on camera, but but I do see like some patches going on here. I don't know what is going on, but something's going on. So I'm going to put on the rest of my face and then I'm going to give you guys my thoughts. So I've worn this for about an hour now, and I still think that they do similar jobs. However, I still feel like the Charlotte Tilbury is one of its kind. You know, it, it blurs really well, but it also gives this nice color to my face that just matches well. Like when you initially see it, you wouldn't think that it's gonna do well for me, but the shade actually works really well for my skin tone versus this one, I feel like it's not pigmented enough. So here we go. I feel like the number seven isn't pigmented enough. I feel like it doesn't cover as much as where when I apply the Charlotte Tilbury, it does give a lot of pigmentation. So it does cover quite a bit. And earlier, you can still kind of see it, how it's more, there's a line of demarcation on both sides, but I still feel like this, doesn't cover as much. It doesn't make my face look as flawless as the Charlotte Tilbury. I still feel that neither of them are probably going to give me mattifying looks because I am starting to look a little bit dewy right now and it's only been an hour that I've worn this. So yeah. But nonetheless, I still think that this is going to be a beautiful powder for photography. That being said, I do think you can get by with this. Um, it's a huge price difference. So if you're on a budget, I would say to start off with this and then eventually work your way up to this because this does blur my skin. But again, it still doesn't cover as much as this one does. This one has more pigmentation, therefore it gives a better, like softer blurring effect, but it, they both still blur. So is this a dupe? I definitely think it is the drugstore version of this. It's not quite like this. This is still something that it hasn't been replicated so far that I've seen, but this is going to be the drugstore version of it where it's going to give you the blurring effect, but it's not quite as pigmented as the Charlotte Tilbury. So that's the only thing I do have to say about that. Plus, more shades on both ends. That's all it needs. All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please be sure to give it a thumbs up if you did. Also, leave a comment down below on what you'd like to see in my next video. And I'll talk to you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.